are the six. A loving duty to serve the creator and the creation. One universal God. An ideal human being characterized by love, selflessness, integrity, responsibility and accountability, empowered to be an agent for good, one who is armed with both the wisdom and virtue of a saint, together with the courage and fearlessness of a soldier, and promoting religious freedom. And so may I relentlessly continue to do all that is good and right until my last breath. Our next award is Sikhs in Business. This category consists of three awards presented to the organization or individual that can be demonstrated on how it has made exceptional financial returns, shown strong growth, innovative strategies, clear market leadership in its sector, and this category incorporates the Businessman, Businesswoman, and Entrepreneur Awards. Ladies and gentlemen, our presenters for this category are Mr. David Mervish, who's a Canadian art collector and art dealer, theater producer, real estate developer, and, art and artist Anne Lazar Macklin. I feel it's a great privilege to be here this evening and to hear of all the achievement of the Sikh community. It's this community that is really adding to this country, and I just want to say my gratitude in being able to be a part of this evening. Canada's great strength is the gathering of people from all parts of the globe, and as we succeed in our own communities here, we're able to reach back across the world and partner to make both our communities here and abroad a success. And that's why it's an honor to be here with you tonight. Having been in business in Toronto for over 50 years, I've seen many changes. Standing here among so many brilliant minds and creative spirits and having met so many of you this evening and on other occasions, I am amazed and excited that the core principles of doing good business, human interaction, honesty, integrity, and reputation remain key despite all the technical advances. There is no replacement for these values on the road to success. Business Entrepreneur, sponsored by the Hair Group. This year's winner is Mr. Harmik Singh from Dubai. In 2003, Harmik Singh came to Dubai with just grit and fiery ambition in his wallet. Today, he runs the Plan B Group, which comprises of eight companies with presence in three continents. The company has its headquarters in Dubai, Year on year, Harmik is the forerunner of Plan B team delivering quality experience at landmark events like Dubai's Standard Chartered Marathon, Dubai's Crown Prince Annual Heritage Championship, Nad Al Sheba Sports Tournament 2016, FIFA. Harmik was instrumental in introducing 3D out of home advertising in Dubai. Last year, Harmik Singh led his team to close a five-year-long contract with Dubai's Women Run to completely undertake the event, which hosts over 10,000 women annually. Harmik Singh has been instrumental in establishing a strong rehabilitation system for the youth of Punjab entwined in substance abuse. He has enabled the youngsters to drop their dependency on substance, becoming responsible breadwinners for their respective families and more importantly, respectable members of the community and society. Why Guruji ka khalsa, Why Guruji ki fate? I remember this one is louder. <laughs> uh, firstly, I'm here only for 24 hours, and I made sure that traveling 15 hours on a plane and going back 15 hours is definitely worth it. It's been a long journey from uh, where I come from, the part of the world where it's a Muslim country and uh, has been a roller coaster for me. 15 years now, <clears throat> I landed up uh, literally on the, on the street, started earning for $800 a month, uh, and today, Babaji has been kind. We have eight companies, and we have 500 people working for us. <clears throat> I heard a lot of uh, speeches. I'm gonna make it uh, summarized for all of us, and. Uh, just probably a few pointers, which uh, definitely requires for everybody else to know as well. Uh, I landed with acceptance being an issue. Yes, I was, a, I was a Sikh in a foreign land, and it was something that probably I had to strive for. 
mostly wherever I went, as for business, whatever that I tried to do, <clears throat> I was being told, you guys are just carpenters. So that's a fact that probably people are blue-collared workers over there, and I understand that where they come from. But then again, that gave me a little heart. I had uh, no godfather. I had uh, no one to strive for. I was the accountant. I was the driver for when I started all by myself. And with the grit, which probably comes from a foundation, which comes from Sikhi. I think any foundation, if it is strong, the building can grow higher. And that's what I have tried to do. I also wanted to also look at what I did not get. I give a platform for anybody who I can. And I looked at Punjab. I looked at a lot of fraternities where drugs has been, big, been a big issue. I've taken up a program which has been on for the last five years. I bring people, I rehabilitate them, and they are on their own, earning the bread and making sure that they're supporting their families as well. I have uh, now been appointed. been appointed as the first expatriate in UAE to represent the government. And that is something that goes a long way where the community has been highlighted. I was uh, fortunate enough to meet the rulers and I'm working for them as well. And one thing that probably I heard, which is heartening for me, was, uh, Harmik, we know, you will never cheat us because Sikhs don't cheat. And that's, that goes a long way. On a recent interview, somebody asked me, and it was an international uh, channel, they asked me, what's the secret formula for the success? So what is it that probably people should know about it? I was simply uh, looking back and I was like looking at the answers. I did not have any, but then again, I had one. I said, I've only followed three H's, the hard work, humility, and honesty. And I, that's, that's, a, that's a mantra that people are forgetting now. But then again, I think, uh, Straight lines are the best lines, and that's where probably I see myself, we're standing all with the power that probably the Sikh religion has been given. It's the foundation that I get from. That's where I am today. And I thank everybody over here, and I did not want to miss this at any cost. I have a meeting day after tomorrow morning, but I'm here just to probably be here and be a part of it. Because I think any fraternity, if we do not have, uh, I heard Mr. Jagmeet Singh as well, if we do not have people highlighted, there'll be no followers. I think people needs to be highlighted, and that's the reason that people would actually look at us. And we have got a legacy to prove. I did not create this, that Sikhs don't cheat. I think I got it from a legacy that somebody before me was there. And I think it's my responsibility to carry this forward, this legacy forward, as being a Sikh. Thank you so much. Business Women, sponsored by The Hair Group. This year's winner is Mrs. Balvinda Kaur Thakar from Canada. Balvinder Kaur has served as the president and CEO to Chalmers Group of Companies for the last 14 years, which has manufacturing plants in Ontario, British Columbia and the United States. Under her leadership, Chalmers Group has emerged as a global OEM supplier of transportation and medical equipment. She has recently acquired two new companies and diversified into real estate. The Chalmers Group supplies heavy-duty off-road suspension systems to all major truck OEMs and medical equipment to leading research labs, pharmaceutical companies, as well as academic and medical facilities. In excess of 95% of the group products are exported to international markets. Malvinda has received awards from the Ontario Chambers of Commerce, Mississauga, Board of Trade, Gannon University, Frost and Sullivan, and Quality Achievement Award from PACCAR. She has contributed generously as a volunteer at local long-term care centres, as well as religious and political organisations. Good evening and Satri Kaal. It's such a pleasure to be here today to accept this award from the Sikh Awards Association. I'm truly humbled and honored and sincerely thank the organization for this recognition. To be recognized by one's own community is indeed very special to me. I came to this beautiful country in 1974 with big dreams and ambitions like any other immigrant. Despite having a master's degree from India, I struggled with the issue of foreign credential recognition and in finding suitable employment based on my qualifications. 
Sometimes it also felt I was letting go of my identity in an effort to fit into the Canadian workplace. Ultimately, I learned that it's a delicate balance. It was certainly not an easy road, and like many newcomers, I had to struggle, work hard, and make sacrifices. As I look back, it's with God's blessings that things worked out. Canada has been very good to me and my family, and we have always tried our best to give back. Today, we employ in excess of 200 people in our business ventures, and we all work together as a cohesive team to make our business venture successful. Having any success, and especially winning this award, would not have been possible without our great employees, who are our biggest asset, and I thank them sincerely for their contribution. In the end, I want to take this opportunity to thank my parents, who are with the Almighty above, for raising us with high morals and instilling the values such as integrity, honest living, to my children and beautiful grandson for their love and support, and to my husband for his encouragement and guidance, and to all of you for joining and making this a memorable evening. Thank you and have a great time. Six in business, businessman, sponsored by the Hair Group. This year's winner is Mr. Balbir Singh Kakar from India. Mr. Balbir Singh Kakar is a real estate entrepreneur, hospitality developer, philanthropist, and social worker. He migrated to Canada in 1969. He invested in real estate projects in Edmonton, Alberta, Guelph, Kitchener, London, Brantford, and Ottawa in Ontario, Prince George and Kamloops in British Columbia. In the USA, his office was in Denver, Colorado, which controlled his investment in Denver, Omaha, and in Maryland. After successful ventures in Canada and USA, he was invited by the government of Haryana, India, in 1982 to develop his first residential project, Surya Vihara, the housing colony consisting of 600 apartments in Gurgaon. Today, he owns the BMK Group, which has a turnover of over $200 million. After four decades in business, he is now concentrating on philanthropy activities. Balbir Singh is a trustee of the Lumpar Foundation that educates children of poor widows and provides social economic empowerment of these widows, regardless of any religions or caste across 13 nations. The foundation has helped over 15,000 impoverished widows, educated over 10,000 students, and supported over 60,000 of their family members. Honorable members of parliament, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is privilege for me to be here and honor to get this sick award from a such a renowned and a prestigious organization. I would like to thank to the selection committee who has recognized my work and they thought that I deserve this. Business is not just a financial venture. And we can't say that this is just for individual making money. It is also a social form venture. We have a great responsibility towards the society and the society gets lots of benefits out of it. Business provides a lot of benefits, employment to the society at large. And also, that one business, one project also promotes lots of subsidiary industries in the supply pipelines. And finally, whenever we make money in the project, they go back in taxes and again plowed back to the society. So this is a big responsibility and everybody has to see that the business is done on an ethical basis and done in the right way and making sure 
that that we have a responsibility to the community at large. I also like to share that there are no secret to success. It is the result of hard work, learning from failures, and also we believe in success in business is not a single-handed job, it is a teamwork. People, those they work with us, they contribute maximum, they follow our guidelines, but the work is done by them. And so it is a teamwork. I got support from all my employees, my family, from friends, and everywhere they have done it. I inherited values of ethics from my family. My father was the same way. I tried to carry the torch that way. And I certainly hope that the future generations will carry the same way. We are also very proud of it because the future generation is really going to take this whole world, you know, future and make a happy world and happy, happy universe. A friend of mine here, as a younger brother, Bob Dillo is here. He's also from Western Canada. You know, when I came in 69 here, I came to Edmonton. And when I used to walk on the street, the kids used to follow me because I had a turban and beard. And my friends and my people, though they brought me here, they said maybe I should take off my turban. But the termination was there and we succeeded. And uh, I have come from New Delhi to get this award here in Canada, though I'm a Canadian citizen and I came to Canada in 69 and I was here and then till 82 I was here and I was doing all the business and all the investments here and then I went back to India and where the, I have done, uh, actually I got into hospitality industries and I got into construction and developments. We are doing also into infrastructure and we are also getting into education. And uh, we are doing now a lot of charity work. That's what I am doing now. Because I always felt there's a pleasure in making money, but happiness is only if you give back to the society from where you came. And, and I think it's, it's a great thing and a great feeling and a great satisfaction in life to do for the society. And even in while doing a business, you have to always take care that this is a social responsibility and it is not only the money-making proposition. That's what I feel, that's what they awarded me for. Thank you.